welcome to a brand new experience, Bobber Rob Remix. We're going to go through a plethora of shuffled animation clips from the comedy brain of Robert Winchester. Hope you're ready, because it's starting. <laughs> oh, humanity. You don't know who I am. You want scary? You want scary? I got one word that'll strike fear into your heart. Oh, you think you got a nice life? You're doing real well for yourself, huh? Nice car, good paying job, bills are paid, loving spouse and stuff. <laughs> like I care. I am so over your shit. I'm a fucking space whale. Okay, seriously? Just, ugh, you would not believe. So this one time, I was writing my memoir, you know, like all preteens do, when suddenly I was made aware of the door. Like, what? I thought this was some vacant room that had no entrance or exit. Some perpetual bubble in space that only existed because I occupied it. Like, rude. Fucking speak up, all right? Paddle boats, patty cakes, baker's man, and all that shit. Get the fuck out here, all right? And quit making puffy fish faces. Stop it. Nobody's impressed, okay? For fuck's sake. Whisper ASMR mumble rap fucking Batman shit. Get the fuck out of my face. Get out of my face! <laughs> Pinello, walk to me! Okay! Ah, stupid boots! Haha, <laughs> you have gummy legs! Also, don't go thinking you're rich just because I pooped so much. Ambergris is valuable, sure, but that's space ambergris from a space whale! And I shit everywhere! So the sheer quantity of my crap makes it worthless! Economics for the win! Space economics! Tamarindo! <gasps> Tamarindo? I always get that wrong. Hey John, what you doing? Playing RuneScape. Playing RuneScape! Dude, what the fuck? You want a Kool-Aid flavor at my house? You can get your pick. Cherry, strawberry, watermelon, black cherry, personal favorite. Usually some super weird ones, but those would always end up at the bottom of the pile. Y you always go for like the strawberry, the black cherry, then things. You gotta have some kind of airy at the end of it or nobody's gonna pay attention to it. We're running back and forth between houses. Three houses, three houses, three houses, three houses. What the fuck? What the fuck? Godzilla. 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 Um, uh -huh. When I was a kid, the family had like hundreds of thousands of millions of Kool-Aid packets. Or like 50. Just packets lying around in a pile in the cabinet. All over the place. So we sat on the couch. I forget which side I was sitting on, so I'm over here now. Or maybe we switched bodies. I don't know. He's doing my homework now. Anyway, I said, boy, these pants are pretty uncomfortable. Except I'm him now, so I said it in a manly way. Like, man, these pants are manly uncomfortable. Yeah, that's what I said. Something about mortgage payments, probably. I'm old now, what do you want? Terms like adult onset, juvenile, pre-diabetes, whatever else. But I never remember the verbiage as most descriptions are so saturated in jargon that I can't keep it straight. ATTACK! Ah! Damn it! Stop kicking! Stupid controller. Ah! When did this become volleyball? I don't like this game! It's a new thing going around. Ah! I mean, it's- Sunfish! Bloop! Oh no, a predator! Protect me, my unborn babies! 300 million eggs! What? <laughs> And be sure to praise the sun responsibly. Time for a wiki leak. Time for a week e leak. Do you get it? It is elongate. Elongate. I'm longer. Are you chortling yet? I named my child with a junk email. I don't know what this guy sounds like. Mm.
When Lawa Shanda noticed me in an old man body on the couch, she screamed, What's going on? Then she threw water in my face, which made me moist in the face. And I hate that word. Ugh, why would anyone use that word? Being a teenage girl is such a hassle. Hi, I'm Robert Winchester, and I have worms in my sink. I'm Robert Winchester, and I'm here to tell you I'm Robert Winchester. Does Robert Winchester? Me? But who am I to say? Robert Winchester. Still Robert Winchester. And my identity. Worms are Robert Winchester, and I'm in my sink. Bye, worms! Bang! <laughs> I got a sword in my tail! You know that's illegal. What? Hugging manatees. That's illegal. <laughs> what? Why? They're a threatened species. That affection's gonna cost you. Like... 500 souls, and or a jail term of 60 days. Or until some adventurer opens your cell door. You think I have time to hear about your promotion? I'm too busy exploring the vast reaches of space, you dolt. I haven't slept in three days. Uh, Blair? Dad. I see Dad, but all I smell is decaying meat. Ugh. You look like beef jerky. This imitation must be vanquished! Blair, be a good girl! <laughs> is a hot dog a sandwich? It's got meat, two halves of bread. It's like a vertical sandwich. Is a taco a sandwich? Is a book a paper sandwich? Anything can be a sandwich if it's ill-defined. Learning is delicious! Learning is delicious! Learning is delicious! I mean, looking at the packet, I have absolutely no idea how it's gonna taste, but, uh, I mean, it's Kool-Aid. Surely it has to be at least okay, right? <laughs> right? Right? I make it up, add a couple of scoops of sugar or whatever, take a sip, and believe me when I say, No horizon to watch me fade into, you'll just have to watch me shrink into the nothingness above your pointless gloating. Get stuffed! Controller, trying to use my axe! Oh. Wrong hand! Wait. No, I guess that'll work. Moving on! I am the Bar King, the Bar King, because I never stop barking. Oh. Ah. Thank you. I was getting tired of that rhyming crap. You're the one who started it. What? Is your brain hollow too? It's now the bar that I set for things being disgusting. It became a go-to reference in my life for horrible tastes. So never again will I wonder what tamarindo tastes like. You may be wondering, worms in your sink? How many worms? Where did the worms come from? Does Robert Winchester, me, want worms in my sink? Are the worms dangerous? But who am I to say? Where do I keep my worms? How do I fit? I'd answer, yes, worms in my sink. Enough for me to say that they came from my sink, where they currently reside. Not particularly, but they're there. Internet says, not particularly. Robert Winchester, the sink, apparently. I don't. <laughs> Sorry for stinking up the joints, or am I? Space World! One hundred percent. The entirety of something. There's just something about saying something's a hundred percent. If it's a thousand percent, it's way too much. If it's fifty percent, it's only halfway. Everybody always assumes that like a hundred percent is always like, you know, the primo, like, you know, hundred percent of something is everything that there is. A hundred and one percent is supposed to mean like extra effort or whatever. But there's something special about a hundred percent. You wouldn't happen to have any sausage, would you? I'm a sunfish. You're gonna have to go to the breakfast for that one. Breakfast time! Wait a minute, are you even real? Are you? And so, the moral of this story is that no matter what company you side with, all computers are shit and will break down just to piss you off. Who are you? I'm a penguin. No way, you're a Linux, aren't you? Damn, the mission's been compromised. Then I'm gonna get you, penguin! Stop chasing me, I'm a penguin! I've tried using dish soap, table salt, and vinegar to get rid of them. They don't wiggle as much now, but they're still in there. Still hanging out. 
Still worms. Still in my sink. Still Robert Winchester. When I die and the world is laid to waste, the only thing remaining will be this sink and the worms contained there. Bye, worms! Dang! <laughs> uh, sir, is that...? Yeah. They're just little black worms that form from food particulars. The middle stage between jack shit and flies. Worms just pop out from the void and still pools of water and leftover food. I'm eating worm eggs, apparently. If I stayed more hydrated, I'd probably be growing worms inside of me. So when people tell you to stay hydrated, just know that they're probably saying that because they're not people anymore. Just worm flesh mechs trying to spread their influence. But the fall of society is upon us. <laughs> Let loose the dogs of war. Oh, tragedy befalls me. A collapse in judgment. The fall of man occurs not in himself, but in how he treats others. Oh, that's a good boy. Hi, I'm Robert Winchester, and I have worms in my sink. You may be wondering, worms in your sink? I'd answer, yes, worms in my sink. Uh-huh. When are you wanting to go to bed? Winner. W H E N apostrophe R E. Winner? Congratulations, you won a fist to the face. Rob's face? Wait, what? <clears throat> Try using a dictionary, you dick. And we'll be right back after this. We'll continue after these messages from our sponsor. This live stream was brought to you by Bobber. Worms! It was completely brought to you by the worms in Rob's sink. I will never shut up about the worms in my sink. Or it makes sense. Wow. Anyway, back to the stream. Mm. Ah! That is the last time I draw my eyebrows on with magic marker. Wah, wah, wah. Yep, we went there. Oh, you aced the interview, did you? Can't hear you over the cosmic waves I'm riding! Then he starts showing me money. Like, my whole existence is this room. Where am I gonna spend that money? I eat bitcoins. Surprisingly, they're mint. Who knew? Me, cause I eat them, obviously. But I let him in anyway, cause I don't know any better. That workbook I was doing wasn't working out. You know, with global temperatures climbing like they are, it's going to make climbing glaciers a lot easier. See, see that? Less to climb. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Hmm. Just a random thought. Go about your scrolling. Which is kind of the climbing of the social media world. Hmm. Climbing all around. <laughs> I guess I'll roll backwards, impress him with my acrobatic skills. 
I'll be more impressed when I'm using you as a sheath. Yeah, whatever, Chubbs. Chubbs, I knew this grass skirt made my ass look fat. I'm going on a diet. You call that a knife? This is a knife. You call that a knife? This is a knife. You call that a knife? This is a knife. You call that a knife? This is a knife. <laughs> I don't know, shit. So fast! <laughs> That's right, it is I, Halfbeard's arch nemesis, three fourths beard. You remember my partner in mayhem, one fourth beard. <laughs> Together, we're twice the beard you could ever hope to be. Is it a duel I smell? A duel for superiority in the art of beard having? Well, I was just gonna boast for a while and sit down, but if you're up for a fight, I am up. Finally, for it. All right then. Halfbeard, go. Warm up. Half of my beer. Um, that was just. Oh, forget this. I'm gonna get drunk. Do 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 do. Uh, Dad? Praise the sun. My son, that is. What are you doing here? Oh, just playing solitary as Solaire. Huh? Does it help? No more than usual. Thirsting for the D, he did though 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 he. What we're getting is vitamin D. It's such a heat wave, it's got these fans doing a heat wave from the hot bleachers. They all wore shorts, they're bridging like CO2 emissions and stuff. Now just think of that a little bit. Like, show it on the screen, like 100%. You got the 100 and you got the percent. Oh, wait. No, that's not a percent. That's another hundred. What? It's not a hundred thousand a hundred? No, ladies and gentlemen. That's a hundred and another hundred hiding in the percent sign. So I opened it, hoping to find a brief escape from the workbook I was going through. Like, ugh, why does a book have to be work? Like, did I get escape though? As if it's some guy wearing pants. Who does that? Not me. I wasn't wearing any pants. Shut up. The guy was just standing there for a while until he asked me, Hey, do you want to be famous? Go to buyfollows.com. Like, whatever. I'm 12. Or infinite. I don't know. I've lost my concept of time. No clocks in my room. There's this weird brown thing on the cover. Is that a turd? I hope so, because it looks awfully like something that should be censored. Kool-Aid man, put it away! There's kids in the room. You want a bone? <gasps> bone! Go get it! That's mine! I, the, the hell? No, these zeros are like all askewed and stuff like on top of each other. It's like a fraction, okay? Zero over zero, okay? So like it's zero of zero, which is nothing of nothing, which actually is everything, which is 100% of nothing, which is like, it's like a void, okay? The 100%, it's like 100%, but the percent itself is actually a void. Therefore, 100% of something is nothing of it because of the percent sign. If they were to change the percent sign, then maybe that would change up what exactly it's doing. We all float sometimes. Ooh! Space is expanding every second I spend listening to you prattle on about that deal you got. I'm Robert Winchester, and I'm here to tell you a story about how there's worms in my sink. It started with my sink. It didn't have worms in it before. Now it has worms in it. The end. Oh, be it a personal record, found your inner peace? Watch my tail fin as I swim through the void in the opposite direction. When I die and the world is laid to waste, the only thing remaining will be this sink and the worms contained there. And my identity. Unless the worms steal my identity and relocate, then maybe I'll lay in the sink and steal their identity, reversing the roles but keeping the dynamic alive. Worms are Robert Winchester and I'm in my sink. 
How do I fit? I don't. Exercise is for chumps. This belly remains. Worms or no, exercise just doesn't work out. Go home, Dad. You're drunk. They're delicate. Did you forget what game this is? No! Get away from me with that thing! Now what's illegal? What are you doing with that thing? Get back! <laughs> Not my toast! Fast forward a number of years, me and John decide we want to get adventurous and try one of the weird ones. One flavor sticks out amongst the rest. Tamarindo. <laughs> so I went to slam the door in his face, but he slammed it back. What? How was I supposed to know he had an Uno reverse card? My Pokemon deck was in my other pants, which I don't wear. Ugh, typical. I only own pants so I can use the pockets. Dresses need more pockets. I want to just cut a neck hole in a canvas bag and wear that everywhere. Should I be worried? Also, uh, Dad? Yes, son? Stay away from glowing bugs and the hats they produce. Sound advice. Gotta cover my bases. Fucking wee! Fucking wee! Fucking wee! You know, like 100% is everything, but the percent sign is nothing, and therefore it's a conundrum. It's like a yin and yang where they're eating each other and, you know, becoming nothing, but then it's everything. It's like the darkness and the light. It's like everything. 100 everywhere. All over the place. Numbers. Horrid abomination! No, don't go in there! It tastes like lint, crap, hate incarnate, and the inside of a dead raccoon. I assume. It must have taken at least a week to get the taste completely out of my mouth. That's when my sister Lawa Shonda came home. My parents were on drugs when they named her, I don't know. Or she named herself, since I don't have parents. My two sisters created me by performing mad science magic. It's why I exist in this weird room with no door. Except when there is. Granted, it might have tasted this bad since it was, you know, at least a decade old. Like, five years, minimum. I don't think Kool-Aid packets are supposed to last that long. Pretty sure. But was young me considering that? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, hey guys, how you doing? I didn't realize when that was gonna, I, I thought that I'd set up the ending of that. A little bit better, how are we doing on this fantastic Wednesday evening? You guys, Teenage Mutant Ninja blue shirt. How are we, how are we doing? Today, if I set this up right, we, <laughs> if I set this up right, we have a special guest. Uh, go ahead and try to say hi. Hey. It's, it is I. Yes. It's it's my, my name is Shayla. <laughs> it's it's Shayla. She is the sunfish. She I mean I mean I guess I can let her introduce herself if she wants. <laughs> yes. Um yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Uh, well, I think it's cool that most of the poll uh, likes the sunfish. Right? So. I mean, you know, despite the fact that she sacrificed 300 million babies. I mean, the, 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 the thing about that joke that I just love is that, like, I mean, they're just eggs. Like, un until, they're in, until they're fertilized, they're not actually children. It's just, like, half of a kid. So, really, if we're, if we're talking, like, kid statistics, uh, like, she only really murdered, like, 150 million kids. Really, because they're all half kids, right? <laughs> like she had like <laughs> she... <laughs> oh man but like yeah uh, shayla has been a long time fan of, of of my work in general like back in like when was it like the early 2010s or something man yeah it's like yeah it's been a long time back when i was doing like siblings and stuff and i mean like she's been like a go-to fan like for the past couple of years when she remembered that i existed she's like oh hi Oh, hey, Rob's, Rob's a thing. Let me, let me, let me, let me check out his stuff. And I'm like, hey, hey, how's it going? Let's build a thing. And she's like, wait, what? Okay. I mean, you know, like, how did I get started with like using you in my cartoons, Shayla? How, how did it happen? I was like, I was like, hey, um, I can, I can do voices if you need voices. Or, or was it you that came? I don't remember who. I don't remember who reached out to who, but I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds 
really wow. uh, exciting, you know, like I I was in the drama club and uh, in high school and stuff. And so I like, you know, I like doing things like that. It's yeah. It, like, I know that like, OK, so like I've got a discord, obviously, like exclamation point discord in the chat. You guys can figure out. But um, basically, um, like I've got like a whole little discord group of like, you know, like longtime fans that are like, oh, my God, Rob, amazing stuff. And so like I've got fans that are like, hey, how's it going? And then um, I'm basically like, hey, I'm cool with, like, people doing, like, guest voice work and stuff. I'm cool with that if, like, people want to, like, join on Discord and then, you know, have, like, a decent, like, you know, like, recording setup. And, like, Shayla was one of the first ones. And she's like, dude. And I'm like, hey, I, I, need, I need more, you know, like, lady voice actors. And, like, that's great. And so, like, that's how we started. I'm going to get caught up on the chat. I, I'm sorry that you, you guys have been kind of, like... Uh, charges at a restaurant. Omniversal Zilla. We got Average Water Enjoyer. How's it going, dude? Legendary Godzilla Ultimate. And yeah, my dog, my, my, my Blair's barking in the background. She's been barking on and off for like a little bit now. Maximus Rot, Rot, Rockwell. Yo, how, how's everybody doing? Obviously, obviously Sheem. Obviously Sheem. Another Sheem. fellow voice actor. Another voice actor from, from the Discord. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we do need more lady voice. Yeah, we... We really do, but like, you know, I like to only reach out to fans because I know that they're the ones that have like the most, um, the most, like they're most, they're the most like passionate about working with me. Like they appreciate it the best. And so like, I try to, I try to give, I try to give back. I try to give back. Hey, hey, Shayla, what are we doing tonight? As far as I know, um, you're going to be a little adventurous and, uh, you're gonna try something that may or may not be icky. Uh, okay, so <laughs> you are going to try uh, tamarind. <laughs> okay, so like I, I put uh, clips of the fucking audio, right? I've watched so many Godzilla movies, you cannot comprehend my knowledge. I really can't. I can't. I also get uh, average water enjoyer. I can't even comprehend the fact that you don't even have Godzilla in your name if you have that much like knowledge in your database, like. I have no idea. I, I can't even comprehend. All I know is that you just enjoy water on like an average level. You're not even an expert water enjoyer. You're just like, I just enjoy it, but I'm just a casual observer of, of you know, all that stuff from, from Kaiju. But like, guys, okay, so I made the episode, right? I made the Tamarindo Halloween special because like, legit, back in the day, I, I had some Tamarindo, Tamarind, whatever, um, Kool-Aid, right? And I'm like, wow, this tastes like lint and shit and all kinds of disgusting things and stuck with my tongue for like a week. And then like years later, I thought about it. I was like, yeah, it's probably expired. There's a good chance of that because most of the weird flavors just sat at the bottom of that of that cabinet for so for so long. And I was just like, dog. And then and 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 and, 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 and look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This bitch orders this shit for me. So now I'm expected to eat it. I'm expecting to eat the- what the fuck is this? They look like turds with nipples. These are turds with nipples. I don't understand what I'm looking at. I, what in the fuck? Can someone explain? I'm basically eating a green bean that's brown. Green beans are disgusting all to get anyway. But like, this is the brown version. This is what a green bean poops after it's done. And I'm expecting to eat this. I'm expecting to. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Ooh, so good. I'm gonna use this for sustenance. I. It just. I. Not even that, but like, this shit is in a shell. All right, one of these is broken apart. What the fuck? It looks even worse when it breaks open. It's got weird veins and shit. What the? It's got veins. It's a turd with veins. They 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 looked at a turd and they said, hey, you know what? We know turds are gross. Let's up the ante. Let's put veins on that thing. That way, it's either a turd or it's phallic. Either way, what in the hell is going on here? And like, it's the best of both worlds, really. I'm right, the best of the worst, really. <laughs> fucking tamarinds, guys. Tamarinds, okay. An entire box. I'm not gonna fucking eat all of this. I'm gonna try like one or two or whatever. Like, okay, Shayla, explain to me how you're supposed to eat this. Like, in your own words. All right, all right, all right. Well, first of all, I want to put a disclaimer. Like, I didn't mean to send you, like, a half a pound of tamarind, okay? Like, 
I ordered from the food company. I ordered first for myself to make sure that the tamarind was like delicious. And I'm like, okay, this is good. Right. And so after that, after I cleared it with my own body, I was like, okay, let me send some to Rob too. I don't care if it's, you know, this is the smallest increment that I can send to him. Like freaking like 15 pounds of tamarind. Um, did you buy 15 pounds for yourself? You're just like, I got this. I'm good. Like, really? I can eat. You give me tamarind, I can eat. All right. I can anything that's like mildly tropical, coconut, I, uh, mango. I, I have to worry if, if this is what tropical is. I mean, this is just my, my good. It puts me to shame. I feel I feel embarrassed as a man looking at this thing. I probably shouldn't say that on stream, but it's already done. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. All right. So that's what we're doing on this stream is I'm going to do You would bet $100. I mean, by the way, everybody, I have been working my ass off to throw uh things up in the corner so that like we'll have like little fucking notices and shit for whenever people you know, for for when people donate or when people do things or whatever. And it there it should it should show up. It should show up. No guarantees, but that is the idea. I'm going to check something real quick. Real quick, right quick. Because I know that they... Does he, have, does he have to swallow it? What? I, I would imagine I have to swallow it. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I would imagine. In Omniversal Zilla, I will definitely get to your question. I am just like, my God. I'm going to get to this tamarind thing first. And then post tamarind, if I've like reached enlightenment or whatever, we're gonna we're 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 gonna jump right into this. Buster, Buster, wish me luck. I've got to eat a tamarind. Would you eat a tamarind? Oh, he's sniffing it. Oh, he's he's sniffing. He's like, Dad, what is that? What is that? Is that a is that a lumpy cigar, Dad? Did somebody put like cherries in a cigar thing and just like you know, like sew that shut or something? Like I I I don't know. I don't know. All right, okay. So, in order to eat this, in order to eat this, step one, you gotta hold it, right? Step two, you're done? You gotta hold, you gotta, you gotta, no, you gotta Damn. take, <laughs> okay. nice try, sis. Uh, <laughs> you gotta take the outer shell off of it. Like okay. You're, like you're shelling a, 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 a hard boiled egg or something like that. You gotta take the shell off. I, I eat hard boiled eggs. Then, Oh god. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Okay. It's <laughs> it's cracking. Then... What's cracking? Me, me. Oh god, the vein is stuck to the shell. Okay, we got one piece off. One piece. The veiny turd underneath is revealing itself. All right. I. What? I. I... <laughs> ah! Okay. All right. We're busting into this alien looking look at this alien looking motherfucker. Look, look at this thing. Oh my god. I, I can't even. I can't okay. Alright. Another another shell. Another shell. Oh I'm sorry if you guys can't see this. I don't want crumbs on my floor. Okay, alright. Alright, so step one. Is completed. We got this veiny. Look at look at look at this. Look look at the detail there. Mmm. Oh baby, All write right. that home. Check. Cash wanna... that check. All right. <laughs> Step two. All right. You wanna you wanna take any exposed like vein if it's like a bigger vein that that connects to like the little like capillaries. If if we were if we were if yeah. we were like. You, you know, the, the do, do you do you do you know around. that like the best way to tell if a fruit is good or not is if you can use human anatomy to describe it. That's how you know you got That's quality food on your hands. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I've always said. I just like you know, just like human flesh, dude. Like delicious. <laughs> Watch me get demonetized. Look, 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 look at this. This is. See, now the fucking vein is leaving another vein. What is this? You peel, you peel the vein, you wanna, you wanna- I gotta peel out, the like peeling? Yeah. Uh, like it's, like it's neurons. You gotta, you wanna take the vein. If not all the veins come out, that's all right. As long as you get like the big one out because the big one, you don't wanna, 
you'll feel that in your mouth and it'll be like Eek. i'm sure that <laughs> if i feel the entire thing in my mouth i'm gonna have that reaction but you know this is my virgin <laughs> tamarind experience so you know that's to be expected that's true and it's everyone i gotta i gotta break my my cherry or would it be tamarind i gotta break my tamarind i don't even know i, I, don't, I don't even know, know. But all right, Either so I think that I've deveined it. Can we? Can we? Can okay. the chat? Can the chat justify? Can the? Can the? Can the chat validate? I have deveined it. I believe the veins. The search for veins is in vain. Yes, I believe so. All right. First two steps done. Okay. What are we? What? What are? What are we doing next, okay. Shayla? And now, okay. What you want to do is. You locate the little, uh, they're kind of, they're kind of like, they're kind of lumps, right? They're kind of, it's kind of. Yeah, no, like the sections of the, of the turd. Sort of thing. Yes, yeah, the sections yeah, yeah, of yeah, the, the turd. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So what you want to do Train is compartments. One, but preferably maybe like two of them. You just kind of. Because like, I, I kind of have this, in your mouth. like on this one, I've got this, like these two seem to be pretty. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Got, got a weird so you, gummy yeah, texture them, to it. You put them in your mouth. You bite. You bite it off, right? You bite it off, and then. D Buster, hi, hello. How you doing, buddy? Hi. These are but these these are my sure. tamarinds. These are my tamarinds. I know you're like, Dad. What in the fuck is that? And I'm like, Dude, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, hey, Buster. You yell at me when I eat poop. I right. Yeah, and he's like, Dad, th this is hypocrisy. <laughs> this is hypocrisy. All right. You get the gummy poop. I have to eat my own. Come on, Dad. Where'd you get that shit from? Okay, we're, we're taking a nibble. We're, we're taking a nibble. We're going to find out, Buster. We're going to find out if your jealousy is warranted. Or if you're Please a... Pop those in your mouth. Do not bite down because there's, you know, seeds in there. There's the... Right. Each one of those little lumps is a, is like a seed. And it's it kind of feels like a pebble in your mouth. Like, it's, it's super weird. Like... <laughs> it's great for chickens, I'm sure, because it aids in their digestion. I just... <laughs> The, the amount of tamarinds that grow out of fucking chicken poop is just astronomical. Just, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. And you want to, like, separate... You want to separate out those uh, those little stones. The stones. In your mouth. You wanna Otherwise, you'll have stones yeah, in your poop like corn. Like corn in your poop, but you'll get tamarind seeds. They don't talk about that because they don't talk about tamarinds. I wonder why. Anyway. All right, you guys. It's all right. bizarre because, because, like, other, other fruits... They're seeds. They they feel seedy. They, they feel they like do. seeds. They feel like pits. But and, like, and these are just for some reason tamarinds. Yeah. They're like they're like hard little. They're just pebbles. like anal beads, and then the fruit itself looks like poop, and then it's baby, and then you're just like, what is it supposed to be? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm it's, counting it's... down. Three, two, one. All right, it's in my mouth. It is. Oh, there's that tamarind taste. It vaguely reminds me of the Kool-Aid. That's not a good thing. But then there's, it's almost like if you mix the Kool-Aid with like the super gross Kool-Aid aftertaste with a super stale gummy worm. That's essentially it. I told you, it's like, to me, it tastes like candy. Like, I don't, it's like, it's you have like, a strange, it's like sour and sweet, but it has like a, a weird, like tanginess to it that like, like mm -hmm. gummy worms or anything else don't really have. This is definitely. <clears throat> it's not <laughs> terrible. I wouldn't go out of my way to eat it. I could tell you liked it from the satisfied groan. Right. I, satisfied groan. <laughs> it's just like, hey, how's it going? Oh, baby. Mm. That is the sound of enjoyment right there. The lip smacking. The over salivating to try and drown out the taste. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I'm, I'm more getting really stale gummy worm than anything. That's like a majority. Okay. So you say that there's like a seed or something in here. 
I'm still sucking. Yeah. It's in the sucking. I'm still. Ah! I'm not gonna get into the pit of this shit yet. But like, I'm glad. I'm gonna work my tongue. All these phrases are not things you can take out of context. That's why there's no audio so that you can dub it over other unassuming content and it'll make sense. You know, it, it, that's all that I'm trying to do here. Con content. Also, I'm not really sure what mukbang is. Is that like food or something? Is that like a food network thing? Shayla, specifically? Eat. Do what? <laughs> A mukbang is when you like eat like a huge amount of food all at once. Oh well, why the fuck would I? <laughs> yeah, an entire box of tamarind. It's an entire box of tamarind to stream. <laughs> It'll turn into a twenty-four hour stream because I'll just like fucking put it off <laughs> the entire night. People just get pissed off. Mm. Okay, still hasn't fucking shrunk yet. How the fuck is anybody expected to eat the entirety of this thing? It's like most fruits is like oh strawberries would be like a tiny little thing. And I mean, like, yeah, I guess, like, a watermelon is gigantic, but, like, still, like, this thing is supposed to be small, but, like, it's in sections and buster. Hey, man, how's it going? <laughs> Rod's eating the nasty Kool-Aid fruit. Basically, I will say at least the fruit is palatable. Oh, wait. Just, just keep keep in mind the, the health benefits. Remember, what I was reading... It has a high level of antioxidants. Mm. Um, right. Well, and you know how I hate breathing, so antioxidant is the best. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Right. <laughs> That's true. Like on in my notebook where I wrote down all of my like Rob facts. Number one, Rob hates breathing. <laughs> right there. Right. Yeah. It's a co true. it's a comprehensive volume, and it'll be available for purchase. Never. <coughs> Because everything that is about me is secret, and you have to earn it by watching my stupid cartoons. I mean! Oh my god. As a side note, something that I always enjoyed about your cartoons is uh, putting on the uh, subtitles mm. and seeing the, the sneaky little things you put in the subtitles. I always enjoyed that. <laughs> it's been so much fun being able to add that back into like the YouTube shit. Because I've been working my ass off being like, oh shit! You can make subtitles! in a fucking uh, YouTube stream and you can like make it not match the audio so you can do like little fucking little fucking bits and pieces and shit little you know things and like in the flash days I used to like fucking I used to like fucking but now I hate it but I used to like making the uh, the DVD menus and stuff right like you know yeah like the cartoon they'd be like ooh you can have your little secret section and secret little cartoon bits and interactive games and crap like i would i would stuff those things full you can't do that on a video and it sucks so like at least bringing back the subtitles has been a huge boon to my enjoyment of creating animations and things and also uh pro tip i'm a diabetic and apparently tamarins are supposed to be good for diabetes or something was that what I, I was reading? Blood sugar and cholesterol and different things. Right, yeah. And I was also reading, oh, diabetics have to be careful because, you know, there's not much sugar or it'll do something weird to your sugar. And so, like, I got to be maybe careful, you know what I'm saying? It's taking forever like, to get if through your sugar, If your sugar oh. is already running low, you probably don't want to eat any tamarind because then, I don't know. But I, I don't think it would lower your oh. sugar enough to, like like send you to the hospital or anything like that i think it's mm -hmm. but yeah i brought it up again here it is okay a rich source of antioxidants it okay. may have anti-cancer properties according mm. to a study that was done in 2014 mm -hmm. it may improve heart health and cholesterol um let me see offers liver protective benefits Woo! provides natural anti-microbial benefits Woo! Okay, May so for anti-diabetic -diab diabetic effects. So yeah, so I got through the first one of the seeds <laughs> fell on the floor. I got the other one though. Look at I, I don't know if you can tell. It's this stupid little thing. This little the yeah I don't know. It's like a giant blood cell. So uh, tamarind seed one down, other on the floor. So that's neat. All right, so I'm at least. My God, why did I just pick a big one? I was like, I, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get through all of it. And it's like, look how big this fuck is. This is like, there's like six different goddamn stones in this motherfucker. Am I supposed to just like, no, I didn't eat the seed. One of the seeds fell out and the other one I picked out of my mouth. There were only two seeds in that section. 
At least I hope. If if not, it was like tiny as shit. And so, like, is it really bad if you eat the seed? Is it like, am I gonna die? I think so. I haven't looked into it, but I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I like I'm that the audio cut out when you said "don't" here. the first time. And so it sounded like you said, "I think so. I think you're gonna die." And I was like, "Oh shit." <laughs> Hey. I don't. I don't think. I don't think. So. <laughs> Somebody I mean, named personally... Scorpio just subscribed. So that's neat. Now I don't think Please. that. I. I don't think that uh, notification catches everybody that subscribes because like, I've sat through and like watched that thing going like every five minutes. I might say like one person did, and then I'll refresh the page and I'll be like, oh, uh, you know, like a hundred or two hundred subscribed. And I'll be like, oh, okay. So it doesn't. It doesn't fire off every single time somebody subscribes. But, like every now and then it'll be like random person subscribed and be like, oh, okay, that's cool. I'm just glad that it works. Hey, thank you. Thank yeah. you, Scorpio. Scorpio with the fucking, you know, with, with the random name and stuff. He's like, dude. I mean, I know he's not watching the live stream. Scorpio's everywhere. But all the same. Yeah, all, all this. Look how it bends. Look how it bends. My fingers are, like, <laughs> very damply sticky. I don't know. How do people function in life? How do people live? Tell me, Shayla. How do gotta, people live? You gotta, you gotta lick your fingers. It's like a little worm. Like you're like, an animal. Like look at look, look at this thing. It could like worm and squirm. I got worms in my seat. I got a worm in my hand. And it's I noticed a... you have a different technique than I do. Like me. Yeah. When I put it when I pop it into my mouth, I spit. I I separate the seeds and I spit them out immediately. That way I can spend some time enjoying. Mm. You know the the kind of the the, so the was, fruit of it. I, I was waiting you know, for but, it to but, do its own thing. I, I was just. Yeah, you're. You I, popped it in like it was a hard candy. Ugh. I was like, okay, all right, okay. And you just, you just, you just, all right. It until the, Second section. Yeah. Ow. All right. All right. What's up, Omniversal? Yo, Villa? yo, Coos, how you doing? How you doing, Coos? Everybody, let's be honest, secret stuff's cool. What are your thoughts on what you're eating? Oh. I mean, my, my literal thoughts are just like, it tastes like a really stale gummy worm. And there's, like, hints of, like, the bad taste, but, like, I honestly think, I honestly think that, like, the reason the old Kool-Aid was really that bad was because it was expired. It's not like this is a goddamn strawberry or nothing. I, I'm not, I'm not plucking grapes and murdering them with my teeth and be like, oh, my God, translucent. Oh, amazing. See-through. I don't know. I mean, it's nothing like that. You know, I'm. I'm not, you know, yeah, not writing home about it. But, like, it's, I, I'm not going to kill myself either. I'm not, like, lacing it with arsenic and being like, this will be the last thing I eat. So, I mean, that's cool. You know, yay for experiencing things. And at least it's not fucking sushi. Which, I was thinking, Shayla, do they, do they ever freeze sushi? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Because, like, somebody tried to call my phone... And then it cut, it cut me out of the call for a second, and I was like, oh. mm. um, sushi. I love, I love me some sushi. Um, fun fact, you can look this up. Um, all sushi that's like sold in the in the United States, it has to be uh, flash frozen. Yeah, so thawed. like people always talk about how sushi is fucking. You can't cook it, so it's raw. How raw can it really be if you freeze it? You know what I mean, like. Mm -hmm. Technically, raw is like you pull it out of the ocean and you eat it, right? That would be the only mm -hmm. true sushi. If you have to freeze it, can it be considered sushi? That is a very good question. I mean, I I, I, I don't know. Like, I know that that stipulation doesn't work with, like, hamburgers. You can't be like, the only hamburgers are Wendy's because they're all, like, bibi dibi 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 whatever. You know, because it's fresh, never frozen, or whatever the fuck. But, like, sushi's literally, it's raw fish. And I know there's, like, certain sushis that are like, oh, man. Nah, you can cook this sushi and defeats the purpose entirely of calling it sushi, but it's still sushi. I mean, you can call it seafood, but who wants to do that? But like, yeah, no, I don't know. Yeah, petition to uh, bring this up to the prime minister of Japan because... Uh, yeah, I'm sure he has this, this control over how Americans talk about their sushi. And you know, the wasabi that we get here, I'm, I'm spitting straight facts Yeah, you guys. Right? You're just, is you're just in, bombing uh, information? Series. This is all, this is verified. Okay. The wasabi that we get here, like 99% of the time, 99.9, .9, I would venture to say, mm -hmm. it's horseradish. It's not actual wasabi. 
I know. Spread oh. the word. Oh. Hashtag, hashtag birds aren't real. Oh. So. Wasabi's not wasabi! Wasabi with that! Okay. Yeah. The wasabi <laughs> that we get over here in the United States is horseradish and it has like dye and stuff. Mm -hmm. But so yeah, chances are you've never tried actual wasabi. Right. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm supposed to use my teeth to separate the seeds? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, two for two with that one. Woo, look at my stones. Oh, baby. Okay. This will go a little bit faster now. Just a little bit because, Whoa. like, using okay. my teeth. Okay. All right. We're actually going to choose. Not just sit in my important. fucking mouth. Oh, my God. So, Shayla. Ooh, Shayla, you got a question. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Mm. I love doing stuff like that. Oh, you mean for the one that? Of... Yeah. So, uh, Omniversal Zilla is, uh, is uh, volunteering to be the first uh, person to order a uh, a custom bloop thing, uh, skit or whatever. We're uh, mm -hmm. we're developing one. I'm gonna in the in the next week or two. Also, everybody on stream right now, I'm letting you know. I've written the script for a couple of different Megalodon cartoons. Every fucking person oh. wants to ask for, dude, do Megalodon. Megalodon and blue. With Megalodon and blue. It's gonna fuck. All right, all right I've, I've written it. I've written it. It's gonna happen. And me and John, my little brother John, from the Tamarindo skit from the sibling series, he's gonna do the voice of Megalodon. Because, like, I was going to do it myself, but then I was just like, eh, I would just give him Bloop's voice. And it, just, and it would just sound like Bloop's talking to himself. Like, I'm sure that I could probably do it. But, like, it's going to be so much more fun having John come on. Because, like, I've, excuse me, I've got, like, this whole mentality that, like, I'm not giving anything away. Because, like, the skit itself has, like, a, it's probably going to be, like, a two-minute skit. All together. I'll, I'll chop it up into different, like, shorts and stuff. But... The basic idea is that, like, Megalodon is a jock and, like, Bloop is, like, the fat kid. Because, literally, Megalodon's just a giant goddamn shark and Bloop is just a fat kid. He's just a mouth and a giant stomach who eats everything. So, like, it, it works well. Like, and, and, like, when it comes to doing skits like this, like, I have to figure out a very specific way of doing the characters. Because if it's literally just Bloop with his mouth open, he wins or loses. Snake eyes, it's like... There's nothing interesting there. Like, it's got to have some kind of, like, core to it. It's got to be fun. And so, like, figuring out this angle for Megalodon. And there's, like, going to be other story beats and stuff in this skit. Like, it's not literally just, you know, Megalodon, Bad Mouth, Bloop, and then they're just like, let's fight! Like, there's there's different layers to it. But, like, yeah, no. Uh, John's going to come over tomorrow. We're going to voice it. Um, I imagine I'll probably get started on the Megalodon skits maybe sometime next week. Because there's also going to be... Um, there's going to be a thing, because, like, I, I don't know, like, a month or so ago, people were like, does Bloop have a family? And I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I I don't know. Maybe he does. Maybe he does. Maybe he's got two parents. Maybe he's, maybe, you know, and, like, I'm going to have my parents do the voice of Bloop's parents, and we're going to do a couple of skits there. And I'm planning on doing it, like, next week or the week after. So, like, either next week is Megalodon or next week is Bloop's parents. Sort of. It's, it's, there's, like, a long list of skits that go into that. Like, I've got a number of fucking things written for both of those scenarios. So, like, they'll probably be, like, intermittent in between. All the same, we got a lot of lore coming up. And the the, the comments coming in, what about the long shark, pool shark? Yes. Actually, um, I wasn't originally going to make another pool shark video until I did the mockumentary about his abilities and skills. But I did figure out last night I could, you know, like, I'm wanting to do the Space Whale versus Bloop cartoon. Like, I had that script designed, I had that script written from the very beginning, right? The, when, I, when I did the first five Bloop episodes, and then I did like, oh, hey, you know, Space Whale will be the last skit of that, and he'll, you know, make fun of him for eating the planet or whatever. And um, then I was just like, no, I could just, like, explore this whole planet eating thing. Like, we'll just, we'll just keep going with that. And, um... You know, then I did the thing where, like, you know, Space Whale is in the bathroom while the plant's being eaten. And so, like, I decided 
instead of just jumping into the confrontation between the two, I'm gonna explain how pool. Uh, I'm gonna explain how Space Whale gets out of Bloop, and he's actually going to run into Pool Shark, and so that's going to be a part of the next batch of uh, the the next compilation. Which the next compilation, the release date's going to be Saturday instead of Friday. It was going to be Friday, two days from now, which is like insane, but. I spent too long fucking around with things on Monday, uh, like bumping up the stream and making things work out and whatever. And then I decided I was going to do more space whale and pool shark stuff. So those two things, this next episode is going to be fucking crazy. And I'm, I'm, I'm stoked, Shayla. I'm stoked. Hi. And I just want to point out, uh, <laughs> average water enjoyers, uh, dedication to, uh, putting that many O's and long shark, like... <laughs> There you go. Right? I mean, you got to make sure that it's not just a long shark. It's a long shark. <laughs> Mel and the Dominator, how's it going? Kool-Aid, poopy flavor, my favorite. Mm, I mean, the actual thing itself. Also, I'm looking down at this right now. This thing, when you look at it ripped in half, looks like a... You can't really focus on it. But, like, it looks like a fucking sausage link. Like, if you were to rip a sausage link in half, it kind of looks like that. But it's a fruit! So, like, why does it look like a sausage link? Like, that's weird. I don't think I meant... And it kind of, it kind of tastes like a sausage link, if but, like, not salty and not sausage tasting at all. So right, it, kinda, it, it tastes like a sausage kinda, if you remove the sausage color, and the meat. And, yeah. <laughs> so, mmm, sausage. Yeah, you got any sausage, do you? Mmm, whatever the hell. What? Wait, what? You wouldn't happen to have any sausage, would you? <laughs> oh my it's god! Like, it's like, it's like I'm I'm a sunfish. You're gonna have to go to the breakfast for that one. <laughs> <laughs> See now, if only we had Crimson Tiger on this call, like we, we could just fucking do all this shit live and do like a fucking road tour and just whatever and like. Make no money because, like, hardly anybody around here even knows about it. But, like, all the fucking shame. Oh, my God. So, we'll custom... The Omniversal Zilla yeah. has another uh, question there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, will custom bloop skits be canned to the main bloop timeline? Will it be spinoffs? I mean, insofar as we consider the, the blooper skit to be canon, I'd probably consider anything. Because, like, I'm the one writing it. And I'm not writing myself in any, like, crazy loopholes. Like, it is kind of lame that, like, I have Pool Shark canonically wrapped around the inside of Bloop. Because, like, I've got at least three skits involving Pool Shark where he has to not be there. And I have to wait until I resolve this fucking storyline before I get to those. Now, the mockumentary is going to be kind of like a VHS tape of, like, it's going to have, like, the, the mentality of, like, oh, man. This was recorded way before. It's just a documentary, so like it, it doesn't need to fit into the canon anywhere. And uh, just the average charger. I'm not bald, but I am balding. I just wear the hat, so I don't have to talk about it. Like okay, I really. He's asking me because obviously you're not bald. No, I'm I'm not bald. Thank you for <laughs> the question. <laughs> right. I don't know. Like it's funny because like I I'm growing my hair out like crazy right now. Like I haven't I haven't I haven't like cut it in a year. What? Yeah, like, I'm not, like, ashamed of it. It's just, I don't want every single fucking thing, lol, you're bald, lol, you're bald. It's like, yeah, I'm in my mid-30s. What do you want from me? <laughs> There's really nothing surprising about that. Also. Crimson Tiger's correct. Yeah, I've seen that in makeup tutorials where they put their hand behind and they're like, look, it's focusing. Mm. Got two more. All right, we're, we're making it through this weird-ass fucking sausage. Well, I. You're, you're a champion. Look at this. I'm fucking trying. I'm, you know, like, I'm not going to sit here and just look at this thing and be a fucking wimp and just be like, oh, I don't know, it's got veins. I don't think so. Uh, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, it's got veins. I don't want to eat, what am I, a horse? That looks like hay. I mean, you know, if it's edible to someone, it's got to somehow be edible to me, right? I don't know. I will say it's kind of funny that, like, as I'm talking with the shit in my mouth, it kind of peels itself after a while because like the movement of the teeth and everything it's just like i i can do that yeah. it's a rambling it, like, fruit it. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
You just be outside and be like, well, I'm gonna stick a tamarind in my mouth and ramble. I'll never have to eat again. What? I was trying to blah, 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 blah. Rambling fuel. Yeah. Also, like... I never thought about it that way. Is it weird that, like, they just ship this shit in, like, not a bag at all? Just like, eh, it's a paper bag. It's fine. It'll keep. This shit's so good that people are just gonna eat it right out of the box and they wouldn't even care. Is, is that how it is? I... Well, you know what? That wouldn't be, uh... That wouldn't be false because that's what I did. Like, there's maybe one more piece left. Oh, no. Like, I've... I've decimated my portion of the tamarind. Also... Like, I've... <laughs> Okay, I've, so like, yeah, their crops and 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 stolen their women, mm -hmm. and their bards have told tales of 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 my existence, and uh, yeah. yeah, it's pretty bad. Them them bards will just sing about all kinds of shit. They'll just be like, oh, my check bounced, and I make it sound like blues. But anyway, so like the tamarind tamarindo, because like literally the packaging on Kool Aid says tamarindo. Is it literally one of those stupid things where it's like, it's Spanish, so the O, we just ignore the O at the end because fuck it. Like that kind of thing? Or like, or did... In, in Spanish, in Spanish it is tamarindo. And the Kool-Aid that you had, maybe it said tamarindo on there because they're, they're trying to sell it to the people who would like buy that flavor. Right. Because in in, in the like... middle of the United States, it'd be like, hey, how many Spaniards we got? It's like... You got a bunch of rednecks, dude. I'm sorry. You you did not you did not locate this fucking flavor very well because it makes no sense. No sense. I gotta tell you. But yeah, I I can't imagine much of a uh, Hispanic demographic where you live. Like, right. I, I imagine it's like it's <laughs> the amount of white there is overwhelming. It's like a blizzard. I can't even imagine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like you think I'm pale. You think I'm pale. I mean, I'm glad that I'm pale and not you know Brett like. This white neck, I can handle. Being all like, oh man, I got overalls for my overalls. My flannel is a flannel, flannel, flannel. Blah, 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 blah. Like, I mean, whatever. Also, I will say that, like, everybody keeps fucking commenting on the long shark. Uh, the, the rainbow long shark episode with that fucking Ohio thing. I, w I was doing research, right? Because, like, I'm like, what the fuck? Does Stranger Things take place in Ohio? Is that the joke here? Research it. No, it's Indiana. Okay. So what the fuck is with Ohio? It's literally just a meme. It's That's all it is. It's just another goddamn internet joke where it's just like, they took one JPEG image from 2016 and like four or five years later, they're like, oh wait, this is funny. Let's all make jokes about it. Only in Ohio. Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. United States is Ohio. And I, it's the center of the United States. It's like, I mean, technically not. It's like off to like the right of the entire nation especially if you consider alaska and hawaii like that's not the dead center i mean if you consider alaska and hawaii kansas is kind of the dead center and that's like the nothing capital of the planet but why do they call ohio like midwest like why is midwest the term why isn't it just center like why why is it like mid relative to the west like why can't they just say like center like what what about like mid east like, do people say mid east do people say that Ohio is the Midwest? Because, like, that's so not Midwest. Like, okay, it's so, like, West is California. East is, like, New York and Carolina and shit. Ohio is barely West of Carolina. You know what I mean? Like, that's, like, that's not even, that's, like, East of the center. That's not, like, Midwest, you think of, like, fucking Colorado. Like, that's Midwest because it's in the middle of the western portion of the United States, right? International audiences are going to be like, what the fuck is he talking about? But, like, still, like, I don't understand, like, yeah, if, if Ohio's considered the Midwest and, like, like, the United States has completely failed its ability to perceive directions on a compass. They're just like, I don't know, spin it, it's a direction, who cares? North, south, east, west, fucking get through the fucking, you know, Lost Woods and fucking regular Nintendo Legend of Goddamn Zella. Why are you talking about a city? I'm talking about just whatever the fuck comes to mind. You guys, Tamarindo, come on, come on. I'm out of you. That is amazing. Mm. Everyone clap. Mm. Mm. This is not a request. This is an order. Everyone clap. Mm. I got through Tamarind. <laughs> I got through it. How many Yay. was that? Ah! Fucking eight seeds. And Deborah Silva. 
Subscribe! This is apparently a thing. I have a dog in my armpit. You guys. I got through one. I got through one tamarind. In a box. In a box. Right? You see that? Decimated. Amazing. I have to say, there's a lot more fucking work that goes into that. I know that you said, oh, there's four steps and whatever. And there are four steps. And good God, that is a lot. It's a lot of work. It's just like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know. Like, man, I'm commendable. Where did that other seed drop? It didn't make sense why, like, America is has so much obesity. Because it's a lot easier to open a freaking Twinkie and eat that than to enjoy a supple, delicious, <laughs> sweet and tart flavor experience combination like the tamarindo. I, 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 I just love that you're still using weird fucking terms to describe it because you're, you're sitting there like, you know, talking about the capillaries and shit. And it's like, it's supple. It's just like, are we thirsting for the tamarind now? Are we simping for tamarind? It's like, tamarind simp, is that a thing? Like, I don't even fucking know. I don't know. I'm... Like, only fans, I would be in the highest paid level subscription, not gonna lie. Dude, dude only fans, yeah, only, lie. only Tams, okay? Only Tamarindos. That's yes. the website that you can fucking subscribe to. <laughs> fucking Tamarind, Tamarind Hub is, is a bookmarked page on your computer. Just like, ooh, unwrap that Tamarindo. Oh, baby, crack that shell. Oh, yeah, crack it. Crack a lacking. It's happening. That's, that's what people say. Totes, my goat. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> I ate a fucking tamarind. Blue blue skull of chaos. I ate a tamarind. I ate a tamarind, you guys. Would you would you would you describe it as like an acquired taste? Like something that you have to like kinda like be like born with, you know, what like in the culture or whatever you have to eat it since you were little? Or or do you think it's something that like a new person can come into and like you know, can enjoy it the same. Ask, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I will say to the tamarind question, I'm the worst person to ask because I am the, I am the worst person when it comes to trying new things. <laughs> I can't even do tempura shrimp without complaining. And that's the simplest fucking thing you can eat in a sushi restaurant. But people are just like, come on, man, eat it, but don't eat the tail. And I'm like, but I, what? It's not like a corn dog where, like, it, there's an obvious distinction between meat and stick. This is like, it's all part of the same thing. And then some people are like, well, you can eat the tail. And I'm like, man, that's your mind. <laughs> but I'll say from my personal experience, it's too much work. But, like, gun to my head, I'll eat more. You know, just like it'd be fine. I it, I wouldn't kill myself if I had to eat another. Like if this was the only food left in the house, and somehow it wasn't bad. If like the world had like fallen into ruin, and I opened up an underground bunker full of somehow perfectly preserved tamarindo all over the goddamn place, I could probably live for a couple of days. Because again, diabetes is so like if it's gonna have a problem with like my diabetes, like you know if it fucks up my blood sugar, then I'll probably die within a day. But like. I would spend the last day of my life eating tamarind and probably not hate it. No. Nah. Like, I have your mother eat this tamarind or she dies. <laughs> right. And I'd be like, well, mom, uh, you know, uh, give me a second because I got to prep myself. You know. It's just, my God, these things are so fucking weird. Ugh. And how long are these things supposed to last again? How long do they stay good? Yeah, I mean, like, you know. Ah, Clement, thanks for subscribing. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know, forever? I don't know. You said they turn <laughs> until white. They until, well, until unless they, that until was, they... unless, unless that was you trying to say that, like, I'm a white person and I'm, I'm already bad. So, like, it's going to, like, ru I'm going to rub off on my tamarind. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Check the expiration date on the shell. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I expired a while ago. I'm nothing but white. You know, I was just kind of curious if, like, if, if I could see a tamarind or if I could see like a bad tamarind. If I could be like, not... oh shit. Look at that one. Look at look, look at that one. That was a massive one. Good thing I didn't pick that one. It's like a never ending if it's, if it's, it's like a never ending pumpkin. If it's turning white or it looks like it's getting like dry or whatever, then then don't eat it. Are, the, then, are they supposed to come? Are like, they supposed to come out moist? 
Are they supposed to come out like, oh, baby, it's like an octopus eel. Is that what we're supposed to... Is that what this experience is? These are hard. They are dry, technically. So, I mean, is it bad? Is, is, is my palette... Is, is my lighting just bad? It just looks like it's not white, but it actually is just, like, pale as shit. Is that what we're saying? It should, it should be, it should be like, slightly sticky. I mean, the shell itself. The, the, the actual thing inside, I know. I, 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 was, I was making a joke because, like, the, the shell itself is... Is a hard boy. It's a hard boy. Uh, oh yeah, baby, yeah. let's describe it like that. That's a great way to describe it. Hard boys. Mm. Ew, it has veins. It's slightly moist. Y yeah. It's hard. Veins and moist is just like ah. Oh, this stream is just nothing but good things. People are not gonna have nightmares. Not it's ever dangerous. gonna have. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, you guys. I sat here. I ate a tamarind. I had a pretty good time. We rambled with with Shayla the sunfish. Yep. Woo! Thank you for hanging out, Shayla. The reason I had Shayla yeah. on, but besides the fact that obviously sunfish, but like, also, she and I had, had the discussion about the tamarind before, and obviously, you know, she bought them and sent them to me or whatever. We're we're pretty close friends now, but like, you know, yeah. And I was just like, I oh, fuck it, I'll I'll just have her fucking hang out, and we'll just you know, baba to be baba to boo. It'll be good times. Out of twenty eight votes. Shayla, uh, 93% of the people that have watched this stream dig the sunfish. D do you see a return in the future? Possibly. Uh, only time will tell. Right? I mean, you never know. <laughs> you never know. I do want to do, and like, this will probably give away the joke itself, but like, I haven't even written it yet, so whatever, but like, I do want to do a fucking Easter episode. That would be amazing. <laughs> Like, you can imagine just wherever the hell I could take that joke, just like, uh, just like sunfish, it's Easter, and eat, I don't know, Frieza comes out of the air, and she's just like, protect me, babies, and then just like the entire planet is like, lend me your strength, and she makes a fucking spirit bomb or some bullshit. Keep it going with the Dragon Ball Z things. <laughs> It'd be fucking ridiculous. All right, you guys. It has been a fun stream. I gotta find that fucking, oh, there it is. I swear these things look like little 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 beads. They're little beads. I can make a tamarind like, necklace. Like, if you if you clack them together, they're kinda like it's it's like a it's like a pebble. Like I don't know. Like they feel like they feel hard and dense and like kinda heavy for what they are. Like yeah. it's fascinating. I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna pick up the rest of the seeds that I dropped here because uh, you know, I'm not a germaphobe at all. I'll I'll lick them again. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Oh scrum trelescent. Let's show off. My handiwork. We started with a tamarind, everybody. This is what we ended up with. Hey, little teats! And then they fell. We should have done a drinking game oh, every right? time you say tamarind or tamarindo. Oh, yeah. Because being drunk on stream, that's what people want. They would they would <laughs> love it. It would be only, only the best things. All right, you guys. Next Wednesday, we are going to do... More, more... I don't know. Bob or Rob might animate on stream or something. Say bye, Shayla! Bye! Thank you, guys! Woo! Alright, you guys. It has been fantastic. It has been fun. I gotta get back to animating so I can get that episode done. Uh, you know, sometime on Saturday, right? Would it be surprising if one of them uh, gave me indigestion? Yeah, that'd be super surprising. All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get into uh, the chat because like a lot of <laughs> I I know it I, I got I got caught up I got caught up in a lot of things. All right, last questions Q and A final section and then and then we'll be good. Um, okay, so Ohio will be eliminated. Yeah, no, I just the, the whole Ohio thing is just is just ridiculous. Twenty eight votes, most people like it. Aztec Pride seven seven five, you subscribed. Thank you for that person who's most likely not watching but if they are cool and awesome shout out in the chat if you do anyway fire in the hole yeah you got 30 seconds pick up the pace all right omniversal yeah i okay was that the question that you were wanting to ask or you could just ask off stream or or or, or whatever yeah it'll be all gravy and by the way on stream when you guys donate it will show up up here from now onward so when you guys, if you guys ever want to donate during a stream, it will finally show up. I'm going to make more, excuse me, good Lord, 
but I'm gonna make it so that um I'm gonna have some like bloop emotes and shit like like bloop animations that'll play if you like donate you know like maybe like a dollar or two or whatever and uh you know i haven't had, i haven't done it yet i haven't done it yet so is shayla going to voice act in my custom skit i mean we'll have to figure it out i could probably get her to wouldn't wouldn't doubt it i mean because like i know that like the one that you were wanting uh was some character from subnautica i think right and and so yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Sheem, your question. Finish Mega Man Legends. Yes, we did uh, finish it uh, Monday night. And that will be the final Twitch stream going forward. Just so you are aware, I'm not planning on streaming on there anymore because I nobody ever like watches on there. Like, you know, I'll have like two or you know, like the two or three or five people watching, hanging out and doing whatever. But like a majority of the people that watch now watch on YouTube. So I'm gonna focus my ass off if that makes sense, I'm trying to make the streams here better and like making it more um, enjoyable for people. Um, that interactivity, for instance, it, it, it like it better work. I fucking programmed it to work. Anyway, I got a Discord. You guys can join. You guys can hang out, do whatever. Um, in the description or something. I don't know why it doesn't respond. I'll have to do more stuff. But you streamed for a whole year well i technically a year like almost two years like if i had made it up to february like i was saying on monday you know it, it would have been two years but like you know again yeah it, it all it means is no more gameplay i it's i'm not really into the whole game playing thing anymore like it's kind of i'm kind of past that i i want to get to the point of just animating that's kind of where my head's at you know uh, I'll I'll just sit there and just not do whatever. Hey everyone, remember to join the Rob Discord link tree. Yep. All right. It's been great, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for watching. Next Wednesday will probably be an animation stream. I imagine. I think we're gonna do like back and forth, back and forth. We're gonna we're, we're gonna go back and forth. Ping pong. You know, one week we'll do Bob and Rob remix. Next week we'll do you know a live thing. I'll, I might try to do more than one stream in a week if like it makes sense to. Anyway, I'm shutting up. A three. A two. Thank you for being here, everybody. Love you. A one. A bloop.